Praise the Lord. I do thank and praise God for another opportunity for us to gather in this forum called Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Thank you. Thank God for His purpose for our gathering. Thank Him for blessing all of us to just gather together in this forum who have a hunger and thirst for His Word and, and who want to learn. Amen. Uh, this is just a forum for expansion, for growing, for maturing. Um, amen. Not not for anything else, just for that. So I thank God today. I thank God, Amen. And uh, and um, for all who are joining and will share and encourage others to join us. I just bless God for you today, Amen. Let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you, God, for doing all things well. Oh God, we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you, Lord for mercifully looking beyond our faults and for meeting our needs. We thank you for ministering to our needs, Lord. We needed grace and you gave us that, Lord. You need, we needed you to supply us with things and you graciously gave them to us. We needed you to mercifully save us from things and you've done that, God. And you are doing that and you will do that, God. And we thank you today. Oh God, we thank you for everybody who's blessed to join in today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for fixing situations, Lord. We thank you for just preparing us, Lord, to run this race uh, faithfully, Lord, uh, so that at some point we too may say, as the Apostle, Apostle Paul said, I've, I, I've finished my course and I've kept the faith. In the meantime, Lord, keep us strong that we may work toward that goal. That goal. Bless who, all who are purposed to be in this forum today, Lord, and we just ask you to take care of us. Keep us in your care, Lord. Uh, protect us from dangers seen and unseen. Uh, we take authority over the works of the enemy, Lord, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we know that Jesus said, I am come, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that today. Be glorified in this sharing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, saints, we thank God. Today we are back on track, back on the church's uh, Facebook site. Uh, last week, um, technology did what technology does. Amen. It um, it went somewhere, and I did go on and broadcast on one of our deacon's website, but um, I know that many of us didn't, didn't get that, and we missed le the lesson last week. And because we are going sequentially through the book of James, we're going sequentially, amen, and we didn't get to share that lesson from that page to the church's page in a timely fashion, I'm going to review that lesson today so that nobody will lose out, amen. So for those who did catch us last week on the other page, fine, you, can, you, you kind of know where we're headed. Amen. For those who didn't, you won't miss out on a thing because we're gonna we're gonna go again over what we went over last week. Amen. Because we're going sequentially in an expository fashion through the this word and, and we don't want anybody to just have a, a a missing point unless you just happen to miss that broadcast for some reason or another. So praise God, praise God. I thank God for every last one of y'all. I thank you for your prayers. I desire, I'm, let me take a word, a minute to say, I truly desire the prayers of the righteous, and I thank God for the prayers of the righteous, amen, because sometimes, uh, saints, um, we know to pray, sometimes the uh, the, uh, the wiles of the evil one um, have us uh, in a point where we aren't at our best, amen, and uh, so I just thank God for those who pray. Um, for those saints who pray and uh, believe God and thank God and shore up coverings for me and for others in the body of Christ. Amen. I, I express extreme appreciation. Um, hallelujah. Your prayers do not go unnoticed and they do not go unappreciated. Hallelujah. God bless you and God keep you. Well, we're working our way. Amen. And we're going to get to the end of James. We can see the end. It's at hand. It is at hand. But still, we are not there yet. Amen. We're in the, the, the 
book of James chapter 5. Last week we dealt with chapter, with verses 17 and 18. And we really tagged in the latter part of verse 16 because it helped give full fuller expression and meaning to uh, verses 17 and 18. So we're in James chapter 5 verses 17 and 18. We're tagging in 16b. Amen. And we're um, again dealing with the subject producing witnesses. Producing witnesses. Producing witnesses. Amen. Producing witnesses. Producing witnesses. Hallelujah. Have you, have you ever been in a, in a, in a setting? Um, it doesn't happen lots much anymore, but they, we used to often be in settings where the opportunity was given for people to, uh, to uh, give a testimony, uh, give a, a, a praise report, uh, or just talk about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And uh, um, many times, amen, um, um, many times we, 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 we would sit there and uh, people were slow to, to say anything. And I don't know, I, don't, I can't express all of the why. Um, some people might have been shy. But everybody wasn't shy because at the end of the service, people with those same voices that were hushed when it was, time, when it was the opportunity to give a, a testimony were full blast laughing and talking and you could hear them all over the place. Amen. I think sometimes people uh, might have thought that they didn't they didn't have the little recipe down uh, for doing um, 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 uh, testimonies. They didn't know the right words to say. Or they didn't they didn't have that format. Maybe like somebody else, and so they might have felt a little in insecure. But whatever the reason, the the the, the point I'm, I'm driving at is this: you out of a group, say of. 15 or 20 people it doesn't have to be an extra large group out of the group of 15 or 20 people I know if all of them are naming the name of Christ or most of them are naming Christ as their personal Savior there got to be some witnesses there got to be some people in there who know that through the power of prayer they were touched they were healed they were delivered they were set free situations were changed uh, change, uh, chains were broken, uh, um, bondages were released, uh, authority was taken, um, uh, joy was restored, purpose and direction was restored, distractions were destroyed. Glory to God. And <coughs> uh, so this whole lesson, this these couple verses, just talk about how um, if if fervent effectual prayer, uh, the effectual fervent prayer produces witnesses it produces results and results ought to produce witnesses amen so if i've been in a situation where i needed prayer and 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 i have and and folk did pray and they did and 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 the destruction stopped the, the my mind was regulated my peace was reclaimed then i'm a witness the situation, situations produce witnesses. If we've been in situations where there was sickness in our body and, 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 and saints prayed for us and the Lord ushered healing, we are, we are witnesses where, where there was some kind of uh, um, a legal challenge coming in and, and, and the Lord stayed the hand of the enemy. We are witnesses uh, where relationships were crumbling and, and the Lord restored relationships. We are witnesses. Uh, just all, all the attacks of the enemy and, and, and through the effectual fervent prayer of somebody we used to sing that song somebody prayed for me had me on their mind took the time and prayed for me I'm so glad they prayed why am I glad because I'm a witness now I can tell you prayer works prayer works my brother prayer works my sister yes so those prayerful situations, those situations that are full of effectual, fervent prayer of righteous people produce witnesses. Amen. Who among us, who listening in has not 
been the benefactor of somebody's prayer. Somebody got to God, lifted, pronounced your name, uh, addressed your situation, and God moved on your behalf. Hallelujah. I know every last one of us could say, yes, Lord, me, Lord. You did it for me. You did it for me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so the, I, I pick up with 16b. I pick up there. Uh, 16b, the second sentence in, in verse 16. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Much can be accomplished through the effectual fervent prayer. The effectual, the effective. The prayer that produces effects. Hallelujah. Amen. The effectual, fervent, fervent, passionate. Not, not just casual, not just like you're reading from a storybook, but the passionate. The passionate emptying out of our souls before the Lord. The passionate acknowledgement of our helplessness and our contrariness, and our hard-headedness, the passionate acknowledgement of our inability to do anything good without the Lord. The effective, effectual, fervent prayer, fervent prayer. Not rushing to pray so I can hurry up and eat or do something else, but the fervent prayer, the fervent, the effectual fervent prayer. Somebody who stays the course, gets tired, is, is at a loss for words for a minute, but then goes right back into it. Doesn't end the prayer. The fervent prayer. Undistracted by the telephone, television, computer anything the fervent prayer the effectual fervent prayer oh god I, I believe you're moving i believe you're turning this thing around i believe you're changing the situation the effectual fervent prayer protect my child lord protect my children keep them in your care keep them when i'm not around the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, a righteous saint, availeth much. Amen. Not trying to sound good for the crowd. Not trying to um, tickle somebody's emotions with the prayer. But a prayer that reaches way down in your soul. And you can feel yourself. For me, I feel it's like, it's like the Holy Ghost uh, puts his arms under my my uh, uh, my arms, he puts his arms under my arm pits, under the pit of my arms, and I can feel myself being held, being lifted, being sustained. When everything in me wants to fall, everything wants to drop, everything wants to say, "This is too much." Everything wants to say, "Man, oh man!" But I feel myself carried. On the wings of the effectual fervent prayers of righteous folk. I thank God today. Glory to God. I thank God. The effectual, the effective, the effect producing prayer. Fervent prayer. Passionate prayer. Hallelujah. Of a righteous man. Produces witnesses he goes on in verse 18 17 Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth fruit amen Elijah a, a, a believing man as we are prayed the fervent effectual prayer for the Lord to hold up rain and he did and he prayed again amen so prayer then isn't the last resort prayers are our first resort sometimes we say well all I can do is pray 
No, nah, don't say it like that. Because the, the truth is, all we should do is pray. All we should do is pray. Amen. All we should do is pray. And the promise is, the prayer produces, the, the, that the fervent, effectual prayers of righteous produce, produces results. Amen. Produces uh, witnesses to the effects, the power of the prayer. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's the, the word in a nutshell. It produces witnesses. Produces witnesses. And we thank and praise God for that. We thank and praise God for the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous. Saints, hold on to that. Hold on to the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous, producing results that are, that are the will of God for that situation. Amen. God, God bless you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for doing all things well, God. Thank you for prayers, for the prayers of the righteous and for being kept by those prayers. Oh God, we thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord, for who you are, for all you've done, all you're doing, all you will do. We thank you for the wonder. Lord, we are just yet alive, yet kept by the wonder of the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous. Be with us now, God. Do uh, what, you, what you said you would do, God, in the name of Jesus, not because of us, but in spite of us, God. Thank you, Lord, for it. You, we can look back over our lives and see your keeping power and see your staying power, Lord, in the name of Jesus, through the power of prayer. Oh, God, bless us and keep us today. Have your way, God. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, for uh, grace and mercy uh, to prevail, Lord, for every, for the soul that's near as hell, God, for for the, the, the backslider seeking restoration, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, and pray, pray uh, the, the, the prayer of faith for those who just need strength today. Be with us and stand by us, God. We thank you for doing all things well, God. Keep us in your care, God. Without you, we can't do anything. Thank you for protecting us from dangers seen and unseen. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, God. We call our prayer heard and answered today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God keep you, saints. Hallelujah. Thank God for being able to see how the Lord has kept us and blessed us through time. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Love everybody. In Jesus' name.